Hey, Clayton Bates here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a best selling collection for your Shopify website. Now, just before we get into it, I'm actually registered and authenticated Shopify expert. A lot of people say they're Shopify experts, but there's actually hardly any in the whole of, whole world. I'm actually authenticated and registered by Shopify that I am a Shopify expert. So with that being said, let's get into it. When you're in the back end of Shopify, you just want to click products. Then you want to click collections. Now I've already made a very detailed uh, video about collections and how to make all different types. So the first link in the description will actually go straight to that video. Um, but this one is just how to make a best selling collection. So up here on the right, create collection. We're going to type in best sellers here. And then we can put a description in here if we wanted to. So something, some text here, if you wanted. Normally I recommend not doing it, um, but it's totally up to you. If you're going to do it, only have one or two quick sentences because this will take up quite a lot of space on a mobile phone. Uh, so that's why I normally don't do it or I do a little bit. If you're really trying to focus on SEO, sometimes it's good to do uh, the description here. It works very similar to a Word document as well. So if I paste this text in, if you highlight it, you can bold it. Uh, you can change the alignment, you can change the colors. I don't re recommend ever changing the colors uh, because if you ever change the color of your website, then you've got to go back to each individual page and then change the color. So that's why I don't like to do it. Then down here, you can either have a manual collection or automated collection. Now, some people would have a manual best-selling collection. I normally recommend against it. So probably out of the 500 clients we've had, probably only like five people out of 500, it makes sense to have a manual collection uh, for bestsellers. So most likely you watching this video now, it makes more sense to have automated collection. The only reason you would have a manual collection here is if you wanted to select maybe, say you have 100 products and you only want to have four products in the bestselling uh, category, the way I'm going to do it, it's going to add every product into the best sellers and it's going to list it out best sellers at the top, the worst seller at the bottom, and it'll have all your products. I think this converts better. Uh, that's why I do it like this too. So if you go automated, what you want to do here, there's lots of different collect uh, conditions. Uh, but like I said, there's a more detailed video about this uh, in the description. For this one, inventory, inventory stock is greater than zero so what this is going to do is every uh product you have that has the inventory will actually be pulled into this collection and it's going to sort by the best sellers first now if you want to have all the sold out products you can also add another condition inventory stock is equal to zero so that will actually pull all the ones that are out of stock and then you just have to change products must match any condition instead of all condition. If you select all conditions, it needs to meet both, which will pull no products. I personally don't like to have sold out products here when you have, especially if you have large inventories of products. Uh, sometimes it's good. So if you have 20 products and two are sold out, that will actually look really good. It'll probably be better for conversions. The thing that I have an issue with adding this condition is let's say you have a hundred products and 50 of them are sold out, they're gonna to come to this page and heaps of the top uh, products are all gonna be sold out. So it's gonna be a mission to find stuff that's in stock. Uh, and then the other thing as well, normally for, uh, well, we're making a best selling collection, the best sellers are gonna be at the top. So most likely the top pr products that are best sellers are gonna be sold out. So that's why I have an issue adding this condition, um, but it's up to you. Uh, whatever you think works better, um, you should do it that way, I think. And then you can add like, if you only want an online store, there'll be like Facebook and stuff here if you have those channels uh, selected. You can add an image here. Normally I don't add an image because I'm thinking about mobile phone. If you don't add an image here uh, for the collection, then it's gonna be a lot smaller on mobile. It's gonna be easier for them to get straight to the products. On some websites, it makes sense to have a banner. Probably 80% of websites, I don't have the banner. And then you press save here. <clears throat> then down here, 
Uh, you can actually sort by it. So this is a best selling collection. We're going to sell it by best selling, but you can select other things as well. Uh, so for example, if you wanted to do it manually, you could, some people would. Uh, the SEO here, if enough people leave comments uh, asking for SEO, I'm going to make a video how to do SEO on collections, products, pages, all that sort of stuff. Uh, the only reason I'm not going to go into it too much here is because it's a very complicated, not complicated, but you go into a lot more details to do it. If you've added stuff here or auto populated or here, but you can edit it here to make it look good on Google. This is how it look, it'll look on Google at the moment. And then now we have a best selling collection. So this theme doesn't, the text doesn't go all the way. Um, so it looks a bit weird, but if we go on a mobile, see how on a mobile, it takes up a bit of room here. This is probably okay. So if they're on a mobile, they're going to see this and then two and a half, uh, two products and then half of these products sort of thing, depending on the device they're on. So it really depends. That's why I don't like to have heaps of text there. Sometimes when I have heaps of text there, I'll actually put the section block below the products, which you can do as well. So it'll help for Google as well. Um, and they don't have to read a massive list of stuff before they see the products. So hopefully that helped. Like I said, first link in the description goes to a more detailed video about collections. But if you just want a quick solution, how to do bestsellers, hopefully that helped and talk to you soon. Bye.